Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Oh, welcome back to my channel. Oh, so I'm here with a massive haul video. I have been super, super, super naughty and I've, yeah, treated myself to a ton of books here. I'm just going to move this one because it's my favourite that I've been wanting for a really long time. So I'm going to show you that one last. Um, yeah, I decided to just treat myself because I felt like I hadn't really bought anything for a really long time and I just thought, oh, you know what? I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to treat myself. Sometimes we need a bit of retail therapy, don't we? You know, so yeah, that was that was my um, my excuse. So I came across this um, uh, author here. Um, I don't know how you pronounce it. Ernest Nister is, I think, his name. Ernest Nister. And he does these books. And actually, I have got another one of these books that I've, you know, bought a while back and, you know, it's just been in my stash for a really long time. Um, now, again, I have to be honest, I probably wouldn't have ordered these tiny versions um, had I realised because actually, you know, these pull out pictures might prove quite difficult to use. But having said that, you know, I'm sure that I will be able to use them. Um, but he does these absolutely beautiful kind of very Victorian um you know, inspired images. And they're just so pretty, aren't they? So yeah, I got these couple, which are like these move-in pictures. And part of the reason why I got these, oh, I think that should be coming down rather than going up. Um, part of the reason why I got these actually was because a really long time ago, I made a journal using a pop-up book. And actually pop-up books are really hard to find these days. Um, especially kind of vintage ones and any that there are they're really really expensive so I had hoped that these would be a bit more pop-up-y <laughs> pop -up um, they're not to be honest so they're not quite as pop-up as I'd hoped um, but they have got the odd you know pop-up picture like this and the reason why I was hunting down the pop-up pictures was because when I did the pop-up um, journal before it was awesome because you know although at first I thought oh how am I going to use a pop-up Obviously, you've got the pictures here and they are fussy cut out for you. So, I mean, it's like a really, really um, brilliant way to be able to do things and not have to cut them. So I got those two. And then I got several others by him as well. So let me just sort them kind of so that I can show you all the ones that are by him. Because like I say, I did actually get quite a few. So I got this one here, Playtime Surprises. So these are much bigger books, obviously, as you can see. Um absolutely lovely books these ones and you pull these down I've seen Eva at Bohemian Crafting she does things like this quite often with a sort of pull down so aren't they just gorgeous now again I'm not quite sure whether these are going to be that useful or not because obviously you've got kind of half the picture and half the picture if you see what I mean so it might be that I'm going to have to decide which side of the picture that I like or, you know, there might be some pictures where I could just use like a portion of the picture or something like that. But they've also got these gorgeous backgrounds as well. So, um, you know, I think I will be able to definitely do things. And then on the facing pages, they've got these lovely, you know, black and white kind of images as well. So there's going to be lots of different things that I'm going to be able to do with these books. And, you know, all the pictures are just beautiful, aren't they? I mean, look at how gorgeous that they are. So... Yeah, um, you know, I, like I say, not quite sure how I'm going to use these with these moving pictures. They may prove to be, you know, not as handy as I'd thought, but, um, or handy as I'd hoped. Because obviously when you order online, I mean, you know, you can't really see how the pictures are going to be. So, yeah, I mean, in hindsight, these are pro probably not ideal. But having said that, you know, like I say, I'm sure that I would be able to glue this down so that we just work with, you know one or the other and then hopefully it's going to be just fine this one's slightly damaged actually which is a bit of a shame but you know again if I'm pulling this apart it's not really going to matter too much so that's that one and then this one here this is what they've called a revolving picture book so look at these aren't they just awesome I mean, it goes completely, disappears, and then you pull this little lever around and the whole picture then just comes out. It's so clever, isn't it? And again, you've got these gorgeous drapes and things. And again, you've got the kind of black and white pictures to the side. Just beautiful books. So this one is called Magic Windows. And then again, same concept here with the sort of pull out like that. 
And again, I mean, they're just such pretty pictures. Absolutely lovely. Again, you've got the drapes. So all of them have the drapes and then the black and white images to the side. But yeah, I mean, they're just lovely, aren't they? Really, really, really pretty. So yeah, I think going to have fun with these. Although, you know, like I say, I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to be using them yet. But, um, you know, when I come to cut the books up, which at the moment I'm like, oh, I don't know whether I'm going to bring myself to be able to cut the books up. This might be a scenario where I'm just going to have to hoard them for a little while because, um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to bring myself to cut them up yet. But when I do, you know, we will perhaps find how these pictures are formed. I mean, if you kind of look under there, you can see a bit more. I mean, the pictures are intact under there. So it might be that I would just, you know, kind of glue them straight down like this. And then you've got the whole picture then that, you know, could maybe cut it down or, you know, however, I don't know yet, like I say, how I'm going to use them, but very, very pretty pictures. So, and I got all of these books I got from A Books, which I know that I've mentioned A Books before. Um, so yeah, that's where I got all of these from. And I've got this one, which again is a moving pictures as they call it. But this is this one was called oh this one was called playtime surprises sorry i thought they were both called moving pictures so this one moving pictures this one's going to be much more useful because this is a flip up where the pictures are completely in their entirety so you know definitely not going to struggle to be able to use these you've got you know the pictures complete on each page and aren't they just so beautiful I just love them and again you've got these gorgeous backgrounds and things like that so yeah I'm really going to enjoy using these like I say my only problem is that actually hoarding these books for a while before I cut them up and I must try and keep my rational mind of you know I can always buy another copy you know I don't need to hoard it I can buy another one um but you know sometimes rational thought doesn't come into it does it I mean the fact that I even hoard digis that I can just go and print some more Clearly rational thoughts, just not there at all, is it? But yeah, absolutely gorgeous books. So that one, and then this one, Mother Goose Favourites. So this is a pop-up book, again by Ernest Nister, and it's got the lovely pop-up images. So isn't that just gorgeous? And then you've got intermixed with, again, these beautiful images here. I mean, the pages are all quite thick, so again, depending on how I use this will depend how easy they are to use, if you see what I mean. Um, but I do like the fact that they're on really thick pages because, I mean, sometimes book pages can be really flimsy. Oh, this, I think, might be the same boy that was in that other picture. Was he? Oh, I might, might be wrong. I feel like he's the same. The same boy that I'd kind of... Oh, maybe. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, he is. Look. He's the same boy, but... Oh, no. Is he the same? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe he is. Yeah, it's the same picture, isn't it? So a big version and a small version of that. So yeah, who knew until I looked through and I suddenly thought, oh, I've seen him before. Oh, look at this one. How cool is that? So yeah, I mean, again, I'm just going to have to play around and see what I can come up with. But I mean, like this one, isn't she gorgeous? absolutely gorgeous there's a little cat there poking behind and again you know because these are pop-ups they've already been fussy cut out for us so yeah i got those and um yeah really really like those let me just put those down behind me so it's not just dropping things all over the place right then i got these two so i saw these i think it was on junie desiree and i know she calls herself jd I'm sure it was her who showed this book, England is a Garden, and I just thought, oh, what a lovely book. So I went on and had a look and managed to find it. And then when I was looking for it, I mean, look at this. Isn't that just so beautiful? And as I say, all of these were from Abe Books. But when I went on and had a look for this book, it came up also with the Lake District. The Lake District is a garden. So you've got England is a garden, the Lake District. And actually, I noticed they had other ones. Devon is a garden and things like that. This one, actually, I thought was even nicer, to be honest, than the other one. Um, yeah, I don't know why, but the pictures in this one just seemed even prettier than the other one. So I really, really love this. I mean, look at that. 
how beautiful is that? Just gorgeous. I love the mix of the buildings with the flowers. I mean, obviously they're not all buildings. We've got sheep here and things, but I love the mix of the buildings with the flowers. I mean, look at these. Aren't they just beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I mean, personally, my preference is this one. Like I say, the Lake District is a garden, um, but equally England is a garden is, you know, is also very, very pretty book. I mean, look at these little squirrels and things. I don't know why I prefer this one. Um, yeah, I don't really know, but the England is a garden. I don't know why I prefer the other one really, but I think maybe these pictures are more muted in color. The Lake District one seems like they're slightly more vibrant flowers. Perhaps that's the difference. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, for me, I, I sort of slightly prefer the other one. But, you know, no rhyme or reason for that, really. But um, yeah, again, some of these flowers are quite large. So, you know, this maybe is not going to be the easiest book to use. Um, but, you know, I'm going to have fun, I think, trying to use it. And definitely... Not all the flowers are huge, you know, we've got smaller ones and obviously the buildings and things, they're not huge. So, well, some are, but you know, not all of them. So yeah, absolutely love those two. And they're by Catherine Hamilton. So that's those. Then I've got this one now. I've had this book before, Women of Flowers. Um, it's a tribute to Victorian women illustrations and it's by Jack Kramer. Um, like I say, I've actually had this book before. I just absolutely loved it so much. I mean, I very rarely buy books more than once, um, if I'm honest, you know, because I get quite bored. But this book is so gorgeous and you can just do so much with these illustrations and things that, to be honest, you know, you just couldn't really get bored of this book. It's got the most awesome things. And I love the, um, the layout of it because you've got quite a few pages with this type of thing where you can just use these just you know like journaling cards exactly as they are you've got quite a few pages with large ones you've got these tiny ones that you could make like little art tiles and things beautiful beautiful colors because of course they're you know very you know or many different women's work um they're just gorgeous and you've also got the bonus of a few of these kinds of images which i love 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 using these types of things on tags so it's a really nice book. Again, I got it from a books. I can't remember how much it was, but I know that, I mean, all the books, they weren't any more than about four pounds ish. So, um, you know, they weren't kind of extortionate or anything like that. Obviously that's to the UK. I don't know whether a books shipped to the US or anything or, you know, anywhere else in Europe or anything. I don't know. Um, and then I got this one, the fantastic fairy tale pop-up book. Whoops which for some reason it came with these little books as well, which obviously tuck into this little pocket. Um, yeah, I mean, they're quite cute. Again, you know, they might not be that usable, but I mean, I might just give these to my daughter or something. We'll see. Now, again, because I obviously couldn't see this book online, it was quite hard to kind of envisage how it was going to be. And yeah, I mean, the pop-up pieces, they are usable. Um, but they're probably not as many pop-up pages, if you see what I mean, as I would have liked. And they're all this kind of formation, um, rather than a lot of pop-up books, you know, it's kind of all over, isn't it? Rather than just like all hidden inside. But having said that, inside here, there's actually, you know, a couple of extra bits, if you see what I mean. It's not very easy showing it, so I do apologise. But you've got like the witch in there and you've got a girl, um... Oh, she might not be a witch. She might just be an old lady. But um, yeah, and you've got the girl and things. So you have got quite a few bits. And, you know, I love this gingerbread house and things. So that's that page. Then on this page, you've got like the fairy tale castle. Which again, super pretty. And then it's got... Ooh, then I struggled to show these bits as well. Oh dear. Lucky I'm only cutting these up anyway, isn't it? Um, and then you've got the opening windows, which... You know, of course, then you've got little images behind the windows, like there. So again, I'm not quite sure how I would use this, but definitely, you know, would be able to use this in some form. Got a little, um, you know, I'm assuming that this is Rapunzel and this is the prince 
who, you know, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your long hair. I'm thinking it's that. Um, yeah, so, you know, not quite how I had hoped, but it's it's still going to be fine. And then you've got this page, which this is my favourite. So you've got the castle in the background, which, of course, you could definitely use. You've got some trees and things, which, again, beautiful. And behind the tree, you've got the Cinderella carriage. So really, really lovely. Um, and then here we've got, obviously, the fairy godmother and Cinderella. And then behind there, you've got, like, the fireplace and things. So, you know, again, definitely can use this. Oh, look, and there's Cinderella in her in her dress so you know yeah definitely can use these and the other thing is these are quite inspiring from a point of view of seeing how they've got things to work and i'm not trying to say in any way that i'm going to now manage to pull off anything like this or even try to pull off anything like this but you know they are quite sort of interesting and um inspirational to look through from that point of view so yeah so that's that page and then here we've got little red riding hood so Again, we've got kind of the cottage here. It's got a little opening door and you can hopefully see, I don't know whether, uh, it's a bit damaged to this book, I've got to be truthful. It's not the best. Um, oh. I mean, pop-up books tend to be, don't they? Because of course kids can't resist touching all the stuff and then trying to pull things off. But I mean, yeah, I don't want to kind of break it whilst I'm doing the the film but you know hopefully you can kind of see you've got like the red riding hood and things and you've got various pieces that you could easily you know tear off oh look it's torn there that's why it's that's why it's not kind of coming up properly um but yeah you've got various different pieces that you would be able to cut out and use definitely um in a journal so you know it's still quite a useful book um it's just not quite as pop-up-y as I'd hoped, if you see what I mean. So that's that one. I'm just going to tuck these back in here for a minute. And then the final one, which now this is a book that I have wanted for ages and ages and ages. And I'd looked for it when I first saw it. I saw it in the library once and um, I came back and looked for it and I couldn't find it anywhere. This was a few years ago, about two years ago. Um, and then I just forgot all about it. And then when I was, you know, thinking, oh, I'm going to treat myself to some books. I suddenly remembered this one and I thought, oh, I'm going to have a look. And lo and behold, I could find several, several copies of these. So this is Lewis Carroll, photographer. Now, I'm thinking, is this Lewis Carroll who wrote um, Alice in Wonderland? Yes. Yep, it is. So, I mean, he was actually really talented because, you know, I didn't know that he was a photographer as well. Well, obviously he was really talented because he wrote Alice in Wonderland, but multi, multi-talented because he also was a photographer. So in this book, you've got all these beautiful pictures that he took. Aren't they just amazing? And again, they're in varying sizes. Most of them are quite large, it's got to be said. Um, but, you know, I mean, again, like her, she doesn't need to be that big. You could easily cut her down and make her smaller. Um you know, same with her. I mean, you could cut off a lot of that. So, you know, you really wouldn't need to be using them quite so large. But they're just gorgeous pictures, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, look at this lovely one. So, yeah, I had kind of really, really wanted this book for the longest time. I mean, look at this beautiful girl. She's just gorgeous, isn't she? Yeah, I'd really wanted this book for a really long time and um, was so thrilled to, you know, actually manage to get a couple of copies. The one that I had seen in the library was a hardback. This is obviously a paperback, um, you know, but I'm pretty sure it's it's an identical book. So, yeah, and again, you know, I didn't pay too, too much for it or anything like that. So, yep, that's um, Lewis Carroll, Victorian photographer. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I really hope that you like my haul. I was very excited to come on and share with you all my gorgeous books that I've got. Um, and it's been a really long time since I've done a haul video, but I have got a few other things that I'm going to come on and show you in another haul video, hopefully not too, too far in the distant future. Um, but yeah, I hope that you like them and maybe feel inspired to, you know, have a look for maybe similar books or, you know, pull out some books that maybe you've got. Um, you know, maybe grandchildren have got some pop-up books that you could use, things like that. Um, but yeah, hopefully kind of gives you, you know, some sort of inspiration. And I just love seeing what 
other people buy in their haul videos and then go and hunt those same sort of similar books down so uh yeah i hope that you like them and thank you so much for joining me and see you guys soon thanks then bye